Hello and welcome back. This is Ishkul Rafi once again. From this video, you are going to learn how to host a custom coded website on Hostinger hosting plan. So first of all, let me show you the website data which I have got here. As you can see, I have got index.html, style.css and image files for the website. So let me open this website and you are going to see this website is being opened in our Chrome browser. But only problem is as it is hosted on my local computer on C drive, I am the only person who is being able to access this site but now I want to host this website on a domain and hosting plan so that anyone will be able to access by that domain name and will be able to view all the contents inside this website. So let me show you the step by step process on how we can host our custom coded website on Hostinger hosting plan. So let me take you to my Hostinger hosting account. After signing in, you are going to see your hosting plan here. Simply you have to click here on this name or you can click on this manage button right here as well, which is going to take you to your control panel of the hosting. And after coming up here on this page, simply you have to go a little bit down until you find this files option so as you can see we have got file manager which is the beta version newly launched and here is the original or the usual one so we are going to learn how we can host our website by using this new process because this is going to be integrated soon right but before that i would love to create a subdomain so that the website will be hosted on a subdomain and then we can continue to the process of hosting the site right so to create a subdomain i have to go a little bit up until i find this domains option and from this subdomains so let me click on this subdomains we'll be able to get this option to create a new subdomain under this domain name which is ajharografi.com so let me create the subdomain let's say bootstrap one dot ajharografi.com after that i would love to host this website on a custom directory or custom folder so let me click on custom folder for subdomain after that it is going to be placed inside public html after that the name of the folder is going to be let's say this one bootstrap one right and after that i have to click on this create button right here and the subdomain is going to be created successfully just take a look so now if i visit let's say b double o t s t r a p one dot asharulrafi.com you are going to see nothing is going to be appearing here instead of this let's say this default page so we are done with the domain setup now it's time to go back to our uh, c panel and then let me take you directly to the home page we can actually go from there as well and after coming up to the home page we have to go again click on manage after that go a little bit down until we find let's say this files option and let me use this file manager option so let me click on file manager and it is going to take us to the file manager folder of our hosting plan where we'll be able to see all the domains that we have hosted under this hosting plan so let me click on public html and as i have already mentioned the folder we have just created is going to be inside this public.html so let me double click and now we are going to see all the other folders which we created previously so as you can see here is the folder which we have created so now i have to click on this bootstrap one and after that simply you are going to find this option default.php now what we have to do we have to simply click on this upload icon right here after that let me click on this folder and then we have to select the folder which we have to upload so this is the folder which is containing our website contents so let me select after that let me click on upload it is going to show you this warning message upload five files to this site so let me click on upload again and here we go the website or the data has been uploaded now if we visit this website again as you can see here bootstrap onehourraficom you are going to see this exact page the reason is because we have to move the folder sorry move the files from this folder to this folder in this place right so let me take you inside this bootstrap practice folder after that we have to select all of these uh, items so i have selected image now i'm going to shift click on shift in my keyboard then click here so that all of these files will be selected 
then click on the right button of your mouse then click on move file after that i have to click double time or two times here it is going to take us um, outside of this folder then again double click here and you are going to see this folder right so bootstrap one so let's select the folder after that click on move and the files are now inside this bootstrap one folder right so now we can simply delete this file from here or this folder and we can also delete this default.php file as well all right so now we have got only the data or only the contents which we had on our uh, folder right on our computer now let me take you back here after that if i reload this page you are going to see our website is working perfectly fine right so this was the process of how to upload a custom coded website on hostinger hosting plan and i believe you have found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and please don't hesitate to ask me if you have got any question and if you need any help from me and i hope to see you in my next videos thank you so much for watching have a good day